national parks are visited by hundreds of millions of people every year. The United States currently has 62 different protected areas labelled national parks. The first and maybe most recognisable is Yosemite National Park, along with the Great Smoky Mountains, Yellowstone Zion and the Rocky Mountains. The National Park Service announced that in 2020, they received over 230 million visits, although they did say this is down more than 19 million visits from 2019, saying that this is most likely due to everything that happened throughout 2020. These parks filled with unbelievable landmarks and countless miles of trails draw beginners and experienced outdoors people alike. One thing these parks have become known for in recent years though is very strange disappearances, many of which seem to happen under mysterious circumstances, with the individual never to be seen or heard from again. Many of these disappearances happen in the United States, but what's so strange about them is their nature and consistency. In nearly all of these accounts, people will disappear from thin air within minutes. Many examples detail how the individual will be in sight the moments later they vanish, with the group then starting to shout the person's name only to hear nothing back. One question that many professionals and amateur researchers have said is why do so many of these cases follow this theme? How could someone disappear within minutes of being separated from the group? And how could they travel such vast distances to the point where the group wouldn't hear them shouting? In some cases, these individuals have been discovered, but when this has happened, it's only created more questions than answers, with some of the individuals saying they don't remember what happened, and that they have no idea how they was able to travel such vast distances in a matter of hours. Many of these types of accounts have been documented, which have caused researchers to put forward a variety of different theories to help explain why this happens. One national park ranger recently took to social media to reveal what they know, saying that they worked for the National Park Service for over 10 years, and that within that span they got a slightly better understanding of the strange goings on in national parks. They said the following, I worked for the National Park Service for over 10 years, and I'd like to think that spending so much time outdoors gives my comments more weight. The majority of disappearances can actually be quite easily explained. Many people that go missing are beginners, and do not have enough experience to be hiking on some of the more advanced trails. It's not uncommon to become dehydrated very quickly. It's one of the reasons why people who are not found by night time are more likely to never be found. Most national parks across the US hit high temperatures, and if you've been out in these for over 8 hours, you are more likely to get yourself in danger, especially if you're someone who doesn't have the correct supplies and knowledge about the area. With that being said, there's definitely circumstances that can't be explained using usual patterns, and there's some that do remain a mystery. We've had cases where people will be a minute or so from their campsite, and they will vanish into thin air, with friends and family members not being able to locate them even though they'd been seen minutes prior. These are the ones that people find the most interesting, mainly because we have nothing to go by. I've definitely heard stories of strange things being witnessed around national parks, with one instant being that of a group of men who claim they saw a large humanoid, and this was close to their camp they were staying in. Park officials went out to investigate, but couldn't find any proof of there being such an entity. Many of these reports happened during the nights when visibility is not great, and due to things like darkness and shadows, it can make it look like there is something much larger out there, when in reality it could just be someone out there or someone playing a prank. I've heard hikers tell others to be careful of people who don't look like they're hiking, and that they may be out there to be on the lookout for people. In recent years, various young adults have gone missing from national parks, and this is why people have been told to be careful of people who don't look like they're hiking. Except for that, there's a lot of theories but not much evidence to back them up. There's some that believe that humanoids live in this region, and that they are responsible for some of the disappearances. There's some who claim that national parks are haunted, 
but as of right now we've found no evidence of a large humanoid or a ghostly apparition being responsible for these disappearances. The only conclusive answer we can come to is that people are disappearing under mysterious circumstances, and we are yet to understand why this happens. End quote. One mysterious disappearance is that of Catherine Van Aust. In the summer of 1946, a child Catherine Van Aust was staying in a cabin with her family in Devil's Den State Park, deep in the Arkansas wilderness. News reports from the time of the disappearance state that she got lost when returning to the family cabin from a nearby creek. The family quickly realised that Catherine had disappeared, and a search party led by Catherine's father was immediately assembled. After three days of searching, the local sheriff ordered Catherine's father to leave the party to rest. By now, everyone had feared that she'd passed away. Three days lost and alone in the wilderness would have taken a huge physical toll on most people, let alone a vulnerable young girl. On the sixth day of the surge, Catherine was found. Despite the family's relief, Catherine's discovery was where the mystery really began. The girl had been discovered in a cave some 30 miles from her family's camp, on ground 600 feet higher than their cabin. Begging the question, how did an eight-year-old girl travel 30 miles in six days, without food, water or the proper clothing? One of the members of the search party, University of Arkansas student Porter Chadwick, explained that when Catherine was found, she uttered the words, here I am calmly, in response to one of the rescuer's shouts. Catherine reportedly walked out of the cave without expression upon discovery wearing nothing but a swimsuit. She had no markings on her to suggest that she had been harmed and was thankful for being rescued. To this day, we don't know exactly what happened to Catherine Van Aust or how she managed to travel so far. Devil's Den State Park may be an area of outstanding natural beauty, but the events that occurred over these six days in 1946 were anything but natural. So what do you make of these mysterious disappearances? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.